Welcome to English with Teacher. I'm Teacher. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's watching my videos, who's subscribing to the channel, who's liking, uh, especially the subscribers. We need more of you, please. And yeah, I hope that you're learning and I hope that you're enjoying the content. So today I am here with my wonderful co-host and we will be studying and we will be doing grammar, comprehension, um, some pretty high level stuff. I hope that you're ready for it. So what I'm using to teach out of is a Bible. It's the New Living Translation because there's many translations of the Bible. Uh, this is very simple language, so it's easier to understand. Um, and if you want to follow along, we are in chapter 4, and we will be doing verses 5, 6, and 7 in this lesson. So, ma'am, would you please introduce yourself? Yes. Mm. Hi, teacher. Hi, everyone. And I'm Han from Vietnam, and I'm very happy to join the lesson with our wonderful teacher today. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, so, I would ask that you start out by reading the verses in front of you. Yes. Then the devil took him to the holy city, uh, Jerusalem, to the highest point of the temple, and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. For the scriptures say, He will order His angels to protect you, and they will hold you up. Hang on, they hang have. on. Don't forget the D. Hold. Yes. And they will hold, hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Jesus responded, The scriptures also say, You must not pass the Lord, so God. Very good, very good. Work on that because I'm having trouble hearing it. Okay, so hold. Hold. Duh. Maybe it's because of the mic. And it, yeah. it doesn't have to be a hard sound, but there has to be a sound there, right? Like it doesn't have to be hold, but it has to be like hold. I don't know if you can hear that when I do it. It's just a little click of the tongue. Okay? Yeah. Yes, I will practice on that. <laughs> Thank you. Like I said, it might be just because your mic too isn't picking it up. I'm not sure, but when I'm listening to it over the... Video, it does. I can't hear it. Yes, my my mic is broken, so I do not use it today. Ah, maybe that's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now I will get you to go back and describe this in your own words. Yes. Um, <clears throat> then he was taken by the devil to the holy city, Jerusalem and to the highest place, point of the temple, and no, No, if you're using place, you replace point. So you say the highest place or the highest point. Not both. Okay. And to the highest place of the temple, and, uh, and the devil said, if he was the son of God, he must, he had to jump up, and uh, it was, uh, and it is described by the scriptures, and like, um, he will order his angel to protect him, and they will hold up. They will hold him up with their hands so he wouldn't even hurt his foot on a stone. Yeah. And um, Jesus 
responded. The scripts, scriptures also said, "He must not test the Lord, the God." Very good. That was excellent. I didn't say anything because you were doing so good. I didn't have anything to correct. Yes, thank you. <laughs> that was that was very very impressive. Thank you very much. Uh, so, so th this is what we're doing is reading. Um, so my student has to read it, comprehend it, and be able to put it into her own words, which she did an excellent job of. This is how you teach yourself to have conversations. Also, she only had this two minutes before we started, so she didn't have a long time to study it. So, as I say, this is how we're building up people being able to do things in English, process in English, and then relate what they need to in English. So, I hope that this was helpful. Um, I hope that you will. Tune in for the next uh, video, and I really hope that you have a great day. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.